Hello everybody, welcome to Flight School. I'll be your instructor today teaching you how to fly the LA-7 B-20. Before I take you out on your first flight, there are a few concepts I want to talk to you about. The main three things you have to understand before determining how you should fly a plane in combat are as follow, speed, maneuverability, and altitude performance. All three of these categories have separate aspects to them. Speed consists of three things, top speed and level flight, top speed in a dive, and how fast you can obtain your top speed. The next category, which I think is the most important category, is maneuverability. Maneuverability mainly consists of two things, which are turn rate and roll rate. However, also you can consider your rudder authority of the aircraft. However, I think only rudder authority matters when doing something like a hammerhead stall. The third and final category that I like to consider is altitude performance. Now there are two main things with altitude performance, and that is climb, climb, not only climb rate, but how fast you can get to altitude. Like the P-47 gets an air spawn, so its climb rate isn't as important. And the next thing that I consider is where does your, where does your aircraft perform the best, whether that be low, medium, or high altitude. In War Thunder, for a plane to be balanced, it has to achieve a compromise between all three of these characteristics. For instance, the Spitfire is renowned for its maneuverability and climb rate, but its top speed and level flight is absolutely dog shit. From the characteristics that we've defined, we can start to organize planes in certain archetypes. For each archetype, you should develop a different play style to most effectively utilize your plane's advantages and minimize your disadvantages. These archetypes form a massive game of rock, paper, scissors when it comes to balance in War Thunder. So that begs the question, how does the LA-720B perform so we know how to use it effectively? So from my findings, I have found the LA-7B to be a very fast aircraft. However, it's not the fastest aircraft. That belongs to the American planes. Jesus fucking Christ. However, it is vastly superior in maneuverability to the American planes. So if you're ever facing an American plane, you want to dogfight them, and you want to turn fight them. But when you're facing more maneuverable planes like the Spitfires, um, you want to use your speed advantage, which is kind of hard because they'll be at a higher altitude than you most of the time. So you want to, when they come in on top of you from five, from space basically you want to try to turn fight them a little bit you want to like go into rolling scissors a little bit until they lose enough energy where they're at a similar speed than you and then you want to try to gain your top speed and run back to base is basically what you do or to your team so they're pretty hard to fight if they're a good spitfire pilot i think the spitfire is your uh number one enemy Overall, since you're gonna usually have lower energy than your enemies, you're gonna have to be doing a lot of defensive flying, which is an innate disadvantage. However, it performs very well in other aspects, so I think it makes up for it. So now that I've explained to you how you should fly versus certain aircraft, let's go into some video footage where I can make some play-by-play -play analysis of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Okay, so I see the Spitfire from about 5k away, and we're the only ones near each other, so I suspect that since he has a higher energy than me, he's gonna he's gonna try to engage me, basically. Uh, he thinks I'm an easy target, and so the only way for you to combat this is to accept the head-on. <clears throat> if you don't accept the head-on, then uh, he's just gonna turn on you and get on your six, which I'd rather have my guns facing at him at least have a sh uh, shot of killing him versus his guns facing at me with my guns not facing at him. And that's represented by him being on your six. So you wanna accept the head on. <clears throat> He's not like crazy far ahead of me so I don't have to pull up and I won't stall. He's probably like 500 to like 700 meters above me, maybe even less, maybe like 500 meters above me. So he didn't do a very great job of climbing. But um, so it's pretty obvious at this point that we're gonna head on. And tips for the head-on is you want to start shooting. <clears throat> you really got to know the ballistic properties of your guns, but I'd start shooting probably like 
1.2 kilometers and then stop shooting around like 0 0.7, 0 0.6, or yeah, for probably 0 0.8, 0 0.7 kilometers. And that's when I would try to dodge, start dodging. Um, but that's like your window of shooting. However, most of my head-ons are pretty safe. Only someone dies in my head-ons probably about two out of 10 times. So I'm not looking to kill the person in the head-on. I'm looking to engage them frontally so they're not on my six. And I have a fighting chance. So the purpose of the head-on is not to try to kill each other. So this is what you never wanna do. You never wanna turn early. It's a game of chicken. You wanna fly almost over them, <clears throat> but you never wanna turn early. Otherwise this will happen. So this is my favorite clip by far. I'm against two P-38s. One of them just shot down that ear or two on the screen here. And um, really this clip showcases what you can do with the LA-7 and why you don't need to climb super high. Um, so this P-38 in front of me is, he's above me um, by pretty far. He has a lot more energy than me. However, if you like to go under the head on, like this guy does and I do, uh, you can really turn things around. So we go head on and right here, I just try to take a shot. I don't shoot too much in head ons. I really don't, I don't try to, I don't try to kill the guy. I don't want to die, but I need to, I know he's going to start shooting soon. So I need to start dodging. And I like, I like that roll with a good roll rate of the LA seven. You can head ons are really nice. And then I know there's another one. So I'm going to have to go head on with this guy pretty much. So I shoot again, same thing, just trying to dodge out of the shots. And then now I look back and I see that he's trying to, he's trying to dogfight me basically. He has a lot more energy than me, um, but the P-38 doesn't have good roll rate, doesn't have, it's not too maneuverable unless it's in the dive. I think it does perform pretty well in a dive, but this guy tries to outmaneuver me, which I think is a mistake. So, but it's still one versus two. And he still has a lot more energy than me. And this guy's on my six. Basically, this is what this is how you want to fly this aircraft. You want to just go rolling scissors. This isn't a textbook rolling scissors, but you still you would just want to get out of their guns. Um, so right there, I dodge both of them, but this guy's still coming on me. So I need to pretty much rolling. I I would say this is pretty much a rolling scissors, um, but he can't keep up because his roll rate's pretty bad. So he climbs. Um, meanwhile, this other guy is coming to strafe me again. So, rinse and repeat, do the same thing. Try to get out of his guns. So I see he's turning in, so if I roll the other way, he's not gonna be able to hit me. And really, I'm just trying to bleed these guys. As you can see, we're, we're at 1,000 meters. We started this at 4,000 meters. Um, this is why you don't need to climb on this aircraft, because you can just do this for days on people. And as you can see, he's bled all of his energy, and he overshot me. This should be an easy kill for me. And after some maneuvering, I do eventually get the kill. Meanwhile, during the engagement, the other P-38 was picked up by my teammate, which just shows you that I can bleed all their energy and then the teammates around me can help me. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to collect my thoughts. Um, to really present to you guys what I think about the aircraft and how to fly it. Um, so if you would, please like the video or subscribe. That would be fantastic and have a great day.